Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've been doing a ton of mods to the outside of my Trail Boss. Now it's time to take care of something that's been frustrating me inside the Trail Boss since I bought the truck, and that's wired car play. So I was sent out this Carlin Kit 3.0. I'm gonna unbox it, we're gonna see what comes in the kit, and we're gonna see how well it works on the Trail Boss. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so how did I come across this particular car play adapter? I just got online, researched some of the best, and this one kept coming up. I am not sponsored by this company at all. They just agreed to send it out for testing, and that's what I'm gonna do today. This company claims with this kit, it has a seamless connection, and it works with all the same CarPlay features that you would use if you had it plugged in. They say it works with vehicles that are 2016 and up, and iPhone 5s and up. You might say, hey, Zach, don't be lazy, just plug the phone in. Well, I don't really like cords and wires and everything hanging around. That's why I always move my electrical in my house on my TVs. I don't want any wires going up the walls when I hang them on the wall. And that's what I'm gonna do today in the Trail Boss. We're gonna try to hide some wires. Here's what comes in the kit. You get your two USB connections, USB-C or regular USB. And then you get your little Carlin kit adapter and it looks like it plugs in USB-C at the top and then you've got your regular USB if you wanted to plug your phone into that and then you've got your instruction manual. So let me go ahead and climb in the truck and see if we can get this thing connected. You have options on where you can connect this so I'm going to connect it right here inside this box so I can hide everything in there instead of connecting it there where everything's showing. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the dongle to the USB-C. Let's see what happens. All right, so this comes up and you hit continue, searching for phone. Let me go ahead and pull up the Bluetooth. So it pops up down here at the bottom, my Chevrolet, let's hit that. And it says connected here. And then it says, not now, use CarPlay. So obviously let's hit use CarPlay. And it looks like it's still connecting. All right, so the CarPlay says it's connected. Let's go ahead and click on it. And we've got wireless CarPlay. So that was pretty easy setup. Let's go ahead and try a few apps. So Spotify. Looks like it comes up correctly. Then you go back. It seems to definitely react pretty quick when you hit things. So messages, calendar, there's your settings. Everything seems to be flowing pretty good. Let's go ahead and test the time it takes for this trail boss to connect to this wireless dongle. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the start button and Chevrolet's coming on. I'm gonna hit start. Auto connecting, connecting. Okay, that took about 12 seconds. So that was pretty quick. So I'm impressed with that. Seems to be doing pretty well. It's very responsive as far as like moving back and forth. So I'm pretty happy with this right now. Okay guys, so I didn't want to stop there. I went ahead and connected this dongle into my wife's CRV. She's got a 2018 and it is connected and it is showing that it works. So this also seems to work on her car as well. So that's pretty cool because I'm probably gonna have to buy her one. So I, at least for now, I can go back and forth if we're taking this on a long trip, but it does seem to work perfectly fine with the 2018 Honda CRV. So one last test, I went ahead and hooked it back up, turned on the truck. I wanna make sure that it connects back. If I go from that vehicle to this vehicle, looks like it just picked up. So let's let it do its thing. And it shows my wife's phone on there as well as my phone and it came right up. So you can use this between two vehicles if you wanted to. Of course, it'd probably be better buying an extra one, but if you want one, you can use one. 
All right, guys, so I've been driving this thing around, checking it out, making sure everything's working properly, and there is a problem. There's a problem with when I receive phone calls. Whenever I go to answer it, it hangs it up. So what I've learned is you can't have the Chevrolet system and the CarPlay wireless adapter connected the same time to Bluetooth. So what I first did was I got into the actual Carlin kit IP address, which is 192.168.50.2, turned on this sync mode. And then I went and made sure I disconnected my actual Chevrolet system from the Bluetooth of my iPhone. As soon as I did that, everything has been working fine. It's been coming up. I can receive calls. And let me show you what happens when you do that. When you hit the phone button on your Chevrolet, it is now Apple CarPlay. So the phone system actually goes away. It actually turns into the Apple CarPlay when you hit phone. And the, also the same thing when you hit the CarPlay, it will come up just the same. So basically make sure you disconnect your Bluetooth from your truck. Me and my wife were unfortunate not to get the wireless CarPlay feature from factory in our vehicles. So I'm really happy that this solution fixes our problem. So they do have a 4.0 and a 5.0, which are some newer versions. So you might want to check those out as well. But as far as this 3.0, seems to be working fine in the truck. I finally solved my wireless CarPlay issue with this Carlin kit 3.0. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you in your search for wireless CarPlay. It definitely has solved my problem. So if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so. Until next time, see y'all.